is the most powerful weapon on this planet. Hi and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we are going to count down our picks for top 10 best web series of 2022 so far. Currently this 10 are the most popular web series on Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus and HBO Max. Also comment down how many series you have watched from this list and which one is your favorite. Also we have not added Moon Knight and Halo as they are still running, so we will cover them in future videos. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Vikings, Valhalla. A lot of people comparing this series to its original, Vikings, and getting disappointed, but the good thing, this series is really good and stands on its own moments. It is a historical drama series created by Jeb Stewart and a sequel to the Vikings series. Valhalla is set 100 years after the events of Vikings as tensions between the Vikings and the English royals reach a bloody breaking point and the Vikings themselves clash over their conflicting Christian and pagan beliefs. While the main story focuses on Leif Erikson, Freydis Eirik's daughter, and Harald Hardrada as they begin an epic journey that will take them across oceans and through battlefields, from Cadigat to England and beyond, as they fight for survival and glory. If you watch without comparing it with Vikings, then you will enjoy this show. The series has 7.1 rating on IMDb and has 89% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 9. The Book of Boba Fett. I know, many of the Star Wars fans is disappointed with the series, but it's not that bad and totally worth watching. It is a thrilling space sci-fi adventure series created by Jon Favreau for the streaming service Disney+. It is a part of the Star Wars franchise and takes place after the events of Return of the Jedi. Also it is a spin-off from the series, The Mandalorian. The main story follows legendary bounty hunter Boba Fett and mercenary Fennec Shand as they navigate the galaxy's underworld when they return to the sands of Tatooine to stake their claim on the territory once ruled by Jabba the Hutt and his crime syndicate. Even if you have not watched any Star Wars movies or shows yet, you can still watch this show as it is a standalone story connected to Star Wars universe. Overall, the story is good and the series has mind-blowing visuals that looks absolutely incredible. And the series has 7.4 rating on IMDb and 68% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 8. From. I can say that many of you not even know about this show existence, but it is a hidden gem of 2022, which you should watch now. It is a science fiction horror series created by John Griffin and executive produced by the Russo brothers. The series is set in a nightmarish town in middle America that traps everyone who enters. While the main story follows the residents of the town as they strive to stay alive and search for a way out while surviving the threats of the surrounding forest and the terrifying creatures that come out when the sun goes down. Little tip if you are going to watch the show, the story is little slow in the beginning, but as the story progress, you will get to experience intense horror story, which will keep you hooked throughout the episodes. And the show has 7.6 rating on IMDb and 85% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. On number 7. Our flag means death. One appears to be a heavy set woman in a silk dressing gown. Everybody hide! You might not have heard a lot about this series, but it is really an awesome show, which deserves to be on your watch list. It is a period comedy series created by David Jenkins. The series is loosely based on the life of Steed Bonnet, an early 18th century Barbadian pirate, and the story is set in 1717 and follows Captain Bonnet, an aristocrat who abandons his comfortable life and family to prove himself as a pirate during the golden age of piracy. Despite having no experience for the role, sailing aboard his ship, the Revenge, Captain Bonnet and his dysfunctional crew struggle to survive against the deadly threats from naval warships and other bloodthirsty pirates. Although don't expect the adventure like Pirates of Caribbean movies, but still the show offers plenty of funny adventures, which keeps you entertained and make you laugh in every episode. And the show has 7.9 rating on IMDb and has 95% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 6. Peacemaker. It is a superhero series created by James Gunn for the streaming service HBO Max. Based on the DC Comics character Peacemaker, it is the first DC Extended Universe series and a spin-off from the 2021 film, The Suicide Squad. 
The story is set five months after the events of the Suicide Squad movie and follows Peacemaker as he recovers from the injuries he suffered during his encounter with Bloodsport. Peacemaker returns home and he is recruited by an Argus Black Ops squad led by Clemson Mern for Project Butterfly, a mission to take out parasitic butterfly-like creatures that overtake human hosts in the United States and around the world. The show is filled with lots of dark humor and has plenty of brutal action sequences that keeps you hooked and entertained from start to the end. And the series has 8.4 rating on IMDb and 89% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. On number 5. Business Proposal. In case you don't know, this is currently the most popular show on Netflix, and after watching it, I can say that it's totally deserved the hype. If you want to watch a romantic comedy with tons of entertainment, then this show should be your pick. Based on the popular web comic, The Office Blind Date, this workplace drama portray an office romance between a perfect CEO and a regular employee who becomes his blind date. While the main story begins when an employee Shin Hari goes on a blind date in her friend place and finds her blind date to be the CEO of her company and things get super crazy when he makes a marriage proposal. Later, after their blind date, they each struggle in their own way at the office, which can sometimes be delightful, thrilling, and even tense. Believe me, this is one of the best romantic comedy show on Netflix, and you should definitely consider watching it, it's totally worth your time. And the show has 8.5 rating on IMDb and 92% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. On number 4. Raised by Wolves. Sci-fi fans, this series is like a treasure to you, and the second season of this epic sci-fi series, released on 3rd February 2022. And in case, if you are new to this series. The story is set far in the future, where Earth is torn apart by religious differences, and the human race teeters is on the edge of extinction. While the main story follows, two androids, father and mother, tasked with raising human children on the planet Keepler 22b. As they attempt to raise the children in this mysterious land, their difficult task is jeopardized by the arrival of the Mithraic, a deeply devout religious order of surviving humans. As the androids make contact with this dangerous people, they struggle to control the beliefs of their fiercely self-determining children. Overall, the show is great in every way and has mind-boggling visuals, unlike anything you have seen before. And the show has 7.5 rating on IMDb and second season has 86% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 3. All of Us Are Dead. This series is like a dream come true, be honest, at some point we all have imagined that, what if our school gets attacked by zombies and we already had our plans to survive. Well, if not in real, then you can live that fantasy through this series. Based on Webtoon Now at Our School, this series follows the students of a South Korean high school who have turned into a flesh-eating zombies while the remaining students are trying to find a way to survive the incident. With no food and water and the internet cut off and to avoid getting infected, they must use the objects and equipment around the school to protect themselves from the hordes of zombies. And without a doubt, the series is absolutely awesome and has many scare and thrill moments to keep you at the edge of your seat. And the show has 7.5 rating on IMDb and has 83% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. On number 2. Reacher. Well, if you have not watched this show yet, then you are missing a lot here, believe me, I have binge watched this series in a day and enjoyed every bit of it. Reacher is a crime thriller series based on the Jack Reacher book series by Lee Child and follows the story of Jack, a former U.S. Army military policeman who visits the rural town of Margrave and gets arrested for a murder he did not commit. After falsely accused of murder, Jack finds himself in the middle of a deadly conspiracy full of dirty cops, shady businessmen, and scheming politicians. Now with nothing but his intelligence, he must figure out what is happening in Margrave and prove his innocence. Overall, the show has fantastic story and solid action to keep you hooked from start to the end. And the series have 8.1 rating on IMDb and 90% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Number 1. The Last Kingdom. People who have watched the new fifth and final season will agree with me that it is one of the best show you will see this year and a perfect conclusion to The Last Kingdom story. And for the people who are new to this show. It is a historical fiction series based on Bernard Cornwell the Saxon Stories series of novels and follows the story of Uttred, an orphaned boy who witnesses his father be killed 
when the Danes slaughtered the Saxon army and marched across England. But the Danes' warlord, Earl Ragnar, comes to accept Uttred as his own son and adopts him and raises him as Uttred Ragnarsson and taught him the ways of the Danish warrior. Later when Uttred's adopted family is killed, including Ragnar, he vows revenge and makes preparations to reclaim his homeland with his accomplice Breda, a sharp-tongued warrioress. But his allegiance will be tested by the inhabitants of his birth country and the people who raised him. And if you are a fan of shows like Vikings, Spartacus, and Game of Thrones, then it will be a sin to not watch this show. And the series has 8.5 rating on IMDb, and season 5 has 89% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.